Cellular Respiration versus Photosynthesis, a Comparative Study Cellular Respiration versus Photosynthesis, a Comparative Study Introduction Living organisms require energy to carry out essential functions such as growth, metabolism, and reproduction. Two fundamental processes, cellular respiration and photosynthesis, play critical roles. In the energy conversion and maintenance of life on Earth, although they are interdependent, these processes are fundamentally different. This article explores and compares cellular respiration and p. Photosynthesis, shedding light on their similarities and differences. Cellular respiration Cellular respiration is a process that occurs in the cells of all organisms, including plants, animals, and microorganisms. It involves the breakdown of organic molecules, such as glucose, to release energy in the form of ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Glycolysis is the first step of cellular respiration and takes place in the cytoplasm. In this process, a molecule of glucose is broken down into two molecules of pyruvate. During glycolysis, a small amount of ATP is produced, and electrons and hydrogen ions are transferred to the coenzyme NAD+. The next stage is the Krebs cycle, which occurs in the mitochondria. The Krebs cycle serves as a central hub of cellular respiration, connecting to several other metabolic pathways. Finally, oxidative phosphorylation, the most energy-producing stage, takes place on the inner mitochondrial membrane. In this stage, the high-energy electrons and hydrogen ions generated in the PRV. O steps are transported along the electron transport chain. This allows for the pumping of hydrogen ions across the inner membrane and the formation of a proton gradient. The energy release during This process is used to produce ATP via ATP synthase. The overall equation for cellular respiration is C6H12O6 plus 6O26 CO2 plus 6H2O plus ATP Photosynthesis Photosynthesis is a process exclusive to plants, algae, and some bacteria, in which light energy is converted into chemical energy in the form of glucose. It occurs primarily in the chloroplasts, sp Shalized organelles found in plant cells. Photosynthesis consists of two main stages, the light-dependent reactions and the light-independent reactions, also known as the Calvin cycle. The light-dependent reactions occur in the thylakoid membrane of the chloroplasts. In this stage, light energy is absorbed by chlorophyll, exciting electrons and initiating a series of redox reaction. S. These reactions generate ATP and reduce the electron carrier molecule NAD plus to NAV, with a release of oxygen as a byproduct. The ATP and NAD from the light-dependent reactions are then used. In the light-independent reactions The light-independent reactions, or the Calvin cycle, occur in the stroma of the chloroplasts. In this stage, ATP and NAD produced in the previous step are used to convert carbon dioxide into gluco. Say, this process involves a series of enzyme-mediated reactions, including carbon fixation, reduction, and regeneration of the starting molecule, ribulose bisphosphate, RUP. The overall equation for photosynthesis is 6 CO2 plus 6 H2O plus light energy C6 H12O6 plus 6 O2. Comparison Now let's compare cellular respiration and photosynthesis based on various aspects. Energy conversion Cellular respiration is a catabolic process that breaks down organic molecules to release energy in the form of ATP. 
It is an exothermic reaction since energy is released during the process. On the O. Their hand, photosynthesis is an anabolic process that converts light energy into chemical energy stored in glucose. It is an endothermic reaction as energy is absorbed during the process. Input and Output Cellular respiration requires glucose and oxygen as inputs and produces carbon dioxide, water, and ATP as outputs. In contrast, photosynthesis requires carbon dioxide, water, and light energy as input. TS and produces glucose and oxygen as outputs. These processes are essentially opposite of each other in terms of input and output requirements. Location The location of these processes is dependent on the cell type. Dependency Cellular respiration and photosynthesis are interdependent. The oxygen produced during photosynthesis is essential for cellular respiration, as it serves as the final electron acceptor in the electro. End transport chain. Conversely, the carbon dioxide produced during cellular respiration is utilized by plants during photosynthesis. These processes maintain a balance of gases, oxygen and carbon dioxide. Ide in the atmosphere. In summary, cellular respiration and photosynthesis play crucial roles in the energy conversion and maintenance of life. Cellular respiration breaks down organic molecules to release energy, while pH. Photosynthesis converts light energy into chemical energy. They have different inputs and outputs, occur in different locations within cells, and are interdependent processes. Understanding and appreciate. Adding the similarities and differences between cellular respiration and photosynthesis enhances our understanding of the complexity of life on Earth. By studying these processes, we gain insights in Oh, the fundamental mechanisms that sustain life and contribute to the biodiversity of our planet. Solar panels aim to convert sunlight into electricity. They are made from materials that can absorb light energy and convert it into electrical energy. This process is similar to photosynthesis in PL. Ants, where light energy is converted into chemical energy in the form of glucose. Solar panels consist of multiple photovoltaic, PV, cells, which are made from layers of semiconducting materials. These materials are typically made from silicon which is capable of efficiently abso. Ring photons, particles of light, and releasing electrons. When sunlight hits the surface of a solar panel, photons are absorbed by the semiconducting material, causing electrons to be freed from their atoms. This process is known as the photovoltaic effect. The freed electrons create an electric current, which can be captured and used for powering electrical devices. To enhance the efficiency of solar panels, additional components such as conductive wires, metal contacts, and protective layers are included. These components help to maximize the capture and transfer. Er of the generated electrical energy. Solar panels are a key component in the generation of renewable energy. They convert sunlight into electricity through the photovoltaic effect. The photovoltaic effect occurs when light particles, not onus photons, strike the surface of the solar panel and are absorbed by the semiconducting material. This absorption causes electrons to be released from their atoms, creating an electric current. The semiconducting material used in solar panels is typically silicon. Silicon is chosen because it is a good conductor of electricity and can efficiently absorb photons. The solar panel consists of Multiple PV cells, which are made up of layers of silicon and other materials. When the photons are absorbed by the silicon, 
the electrons gain enough energy to move from the valence band to the conduction band. The movement of these electrons creates an electric current. Metal Contacts on the surface of the solar panel collect this electric current and direct it through wires to be used as electricity. To maximize the efficiency of solar panels, additional components are included. For example, a protective layer is added to the top of the solar panel to shield it from extreme weather conditions. Th.